This is the Red Cat 1 5th scale Chimera. This vehicle is made in both a gas and electric version. Uh, this review and what I'm showing you here is going to cover the Chimera EP Pro, which is the electric version. I'll give you some specs on that. Um, this uses a brushless 980 kV motor. It's a single speed transmission. Uh, it is four wheel drive. The wheelbase is 500 millimeters, which is about 20 inches, and the overall length is 813 millimeters, which is 32 inches. Now what you're looking at here is a couple of photos. Uh, this is me holding the uh, Chimera. This is the Super 5 SC, which you can see it's much bigger. The Super 5 SC is huge. Um, and then the next picture here is the Rovan um, short course truck. Which is basically the same size as the Super 5 SC, just a lot heavier because it's gas. And then the final picture is the uh, Turnigy Trailblazer XB, which is the same size as the Red Cat uh, Shredder. Uh, so you can see that all these vehicles are large vehicles. The uh, Trailblazer and the Shredder are 1 6 scale, whereas the uh, short course trucks and, the, and this Chimera are 1 5th scale, so uh, they're a little bit bigger, but the Chimera is, uh, especially if you were to put them side by side, smaller than the uh, 5SC and the Rovan truck. However, build quality, um, looking at the Chimera, it looks like it's built better. Um, the turnbuckles, the roll cage, all of the plastic parts are really thick, very robust compared to the Super 5SC and the Rovan truck. Um, the tires on the Chimera are shorter. You're only looking at about a six inch tire, whereas on the other, um, you're looking at about a seven and a half uh, inch tall tire. So uh, uh, there's a big difference there, um, especially when you, if you were to put them side by side, which I, I didn't do in this video, but um, the shocks on the Chimera are thicker. They are big bore, they're all aluminum. Um, and even though the travel rate on them seems really far compared to the uh, Super 5 SC, it can be regulated uh, with different shock oil, and you'll definitely want to do that after you run it, uh, especially if you, after you run it on a dirt course or after you go bashing, you'll be able to see uh, how much uh, dampening that you really want on those shocks. The driver's heads are fully articulating, um, very cool cockpit. Uh, detail here the passenger is looking at like a navigation screen the driver I don't know what he's looking at it's a steering wheel but it has some kind of weird blue lighting but I don't know I'm not sure what he's looking at there uh, so here you can see the inside it's uh, kind of difficult to get to the battery you do have to remove both side panels to install the batteries but once they're installed uh, you can leave them there put your side panels back on and then you can just reach down through the top to uh, flip on your on off switch for the ESC to run the truck from there. You do have to remove the side panels again to remove the batteries for charging unless you get uh, some extended uh, balance cables so that you can just charge the batteries while they're sitting in the truck. Uh, either way you're gonna have to take off those side panels uh, to get to those batteries so uh, balance leads being extended probably won't do much for you. This is the inside. Um, you're looking at the motor. That's 150 um, amp ESC by Hobbywing. Uh, again, it's a 980 uh, kV motor. Uh, it's a huge can. The batteries that are included are very generic. Uh, nothing special at all about those batteries. So other than that, um, you know, here are some photos. Uh, you've been looking at those here for a little bit, so uh, I'll leave it to some driving so you can see uh, how the vehicle drives. Um, I didn't take it off-road. Um, for this video uh, I just wanted to get some pictures and just get some general driving I've only had it for a day or two and I don't plan on taking it out into the dirt uh, until I can hit a, a good weekend where I can actually drive somewhere and take it to a dirt a good uh, dirt track or a uh, big construction site so uh, so enjoy what you're about to watch here and uh, I'll add some commentary as you watch okay so here I'll give you a quick uh, look around the Red Cat Chimera EP Pro. It's a good looking vehicle. Uh, the sand rail style. It's got the um, short course style bumper on the front. 
<clears throat> here I, you can see the tire size it's about six just over six inches tall right at six inches tall big tires uh, the hubs are proprietary so you have to buy new hubs and axles if you're gonna try to change out the wheels and tires this does have uh, body panels instead of one large Lexan body you actually have the two side panels the roof panel the hood panel and then the driver panel so if you damage one or you flip it or you scratch it whatever you feel like you need to replace just one body panel instead of the whole thing um, you can see here the bumper is sturdy it's actually what I pick it up and carry it around uh, by and just actually use it as a handle the shocks are uh, all metal uh, you do bottom out when you push down on it like this um, the shocks do seem kinda soft uh, you do bottom out here again in the back when you press down but that can be um, adjusted or you can get around that using a uh, different shock oil weight so um, all metal here turnbuckles very thick metal probably five millimeter uh, there's a sway bar here on the front and back uh, everything is very sturdy very rugged um, the hubs are very thick plastic very well built vehicle here the um, lights here on the top are bucket lights you can install your own LEDs if you want there are holes in the back so it's prepared for that already driver's heads both articulate left and right all the way around and I'll give you a quick view of the transmitter it's a relatively cheap transmitter um, plastic very lightweight um, it's got the blue trim to kind of match the Chimera your standard uh, transmitter here with your dual rates um, servo reversing things like that you're able to uh, switch back and forth uh, as far as uh, setting up your trim for steering your throttle trim uh, and your dual rates as well so here I'm just running the vehicle um, I'm never really running it at full speed here I'm never pulling the trigger all the way uh, this is just about mid throttle uh, for the most part here um, I'll let you know there's I think one or two points where I actually punch it but um, again this is just mid stick moving moving around here in this circle uh, very quick throttle response uh, good low end torque it gets right up and goes when you pull the trigger so I like that it doesn't seem slow or sluggish at all again I, I didn't feel the need to pull the trigger all the way uh, just mid stick gets you going where you want to go gets a, a good speed going um, you know that quick little whip right there is still mid stick I'm still not punching it so you can see that it does have a lot of power uh, and on on demand if you need it so definitely a, a, a very cool vehicle uh, very fun to drive I'm pretty excited about taking it uh, to a dirt course to see how it performs there So uh, overall, it's a great vehicle. Um, I would recommend it uh, if you're looking to uh, if you're looking for a one fifth scale. Uh, this is definitely a good entry level for one fifth scale. Uh, if you're going one six, definitely go with the Turnage Trailblazer. You can check my other videos to see uh, that vehicle. The Super Five SC, you're looking at a thousand dollars, and that doesn't include any batteries. So it's a big vehicle. Uh, it looks good. I'm sure uh, it will last just as long as this. Uh, for this vehicle, you're looking at about $699. That includes your batteries, your transmitter, your um, charger as well. Depending on where you buy, you uh, they're also including a one-fifth scale heavy-duty aluminum stand uh, that'll hold this. Uh, looks good in your garage. Uh, but otherwise, it's a good value for the money, uh, especially when you compare it to some of the other one-fifth scale vehicles on the market.
uh, again great for entry level so please rate comment subscribe if you have any questions please leave them below and I'll be happy to answer them as soon as I can thanks